distribution and a histogram. Fortunately, Excel has the tools for that. And it's under this data analysis. So remember, we hit the add-ins uh, in the data analysis or the analysis tool pack. And that's this data analysis button here. So once again, you click on data up top and then data analysis over here. And we have a list of different things that are available. What we want is the histogram. So we'll click on histogram and hit OK. Now this input range here, that's going to be the range where all of our data is. So I'm going to hit the little button here on the right, which allows us to enter the, or select the data more easily. And I'm going to just click on the top value inside that cell and drag all the way down to the bottom. And there are other ways you can do this, different shortcuts. And then I hit that button again, and it opens it back up. This bin range. The bin range is actually going to be the upper class limits. So when I scroll up here, we have this list of our upper class limits. I just want to select those, and you see that it automatically drops that window back, and then it brings it back up. And now we have the input range, which, are, which is our data, and the bin range, which is our upper class limits. <clears throat> and then where do we want this to go when we're done? Well, I'm going to put it in an output range. And just for convenience sake, I'm going to put it just to the right of these upper class limits. Now, I made a common mistake here, which it didn't have the input range in there properly. So uh, I hadn't put the cursor in the output range cell, so it messed up my input range. And I'll fix this. I've made that mistake many times, and I'm sure some of you will make it as well. Then in the output range, clicking in that cell, I'm just going to tell it I want it to go right there. And it'll figure out how much space it's going to take up on its own. Chart output. We have a couple different options down here. The Pareto chart we looked at in class, and that does a sorted histogram. It's not going to be as useful for this. Um, a cumulative percentage, uh, if we wanted to use that, we could. But we want a chart output. That's really all we need here. <clears throat> and we'll hit OK. You see it's calculating the histogram, and it takes a minute to work through it all. But now we have a frequency distribution here and a histogram over here.